Hi, James again from the 11 Plus Tutors. Today I'm talk gonna talk about more advanced average questions. Now we will say to kids, you need to remember that the term mean and average are the same thing, they're interchangeable. I always tell kids to remember it's mean to be average, that helps them remember this. Um, we used to just see it being called average in exams in the 11 Plus, but these days the term mean has started to creep in as well, so it's worth remembering. This is a, a, a classic, um, extension type question for averages. So it says here, Jane obtained 61%, 47%, 58%, 63%, 52% in five tests. Now a part A question, part A might just ask us to find the average of this. So you'd add these up, comes to 281 and divide by five. But that's not what we're talking about here. Here we are talking about something a bit more complicated. There's a twist and it involves our friend, inverse. So, what is her mark in the sixth test, so we don't know that, if her mean mark for six tests is 58? So, I always say to kids, start with what you know. They're always giving you a key, a clue, to unlock the answer. So, you've got the mean for six tests is 58. So, we could find the total by inverting this, doing the inverse, doing the opposite. Instead of divide to find the average, we multiply. So the steps are, first of all, step one, find the existing total by adding 281. Step two, find the total for six tests. So the inverse that I've just spoken about, 58 times six is 348. So we know that all of the tests, including the new one, 348, we know that the old total was 281, therefore, for step three, the difference between those two totals must be the missing te um, test mark. So we just do 348 minus 281, we get 67%. So it's worth remembering that um, this is quite a common situation where the first part will be finding a straightforward average or a mean, but the second part will flip things on its head, give them the average, and do some kind of working backwards to get a missing value. I hope you found that informative, and I look forward to speaking to you next time. Goodbye.